guys, do you think I could really go more than like two weeks without watching a Russian Badger video? Of course not. Of course not. Some of the best content on the internet. And of course, it's going to be a totally accurate Battlegrounds. This is That's Why Yo Mama Dead. That's <laughs> <laughs> Why Yo Mama Dead? Ohio. Love, love the plank references. Shout out to Ed, Ed, and Eddie. It's literally a rural bar fight of a state. Totally accurate drip battle drown. Why are you laying down in front of our car? Guys, I don't know why he just randomly dunked on Ohio, but he's totally right. Actually, a drunken bar fight is a little too cool and romanticized. It's more like two overweight men with severe alcohol problems who haven't engaged in physical activity since, mm, like the Clinton administration, um, having a fight that consists mostly of them stumbling around and then falling into each other. Shirts are coming off. Pants are falling down. It, it, we're, you're all, everyone around is embarrassed. And like in their minds, they're two cowboys having a, a put up your Duke's bar fight. And in everyone else's mind and the minds of the people who will see this on the Facebook Live upload, uh, we're all just cringing hard, and we're embarrassed that this is a state in America. <laughs> oh, yes, God. Uh, dark. You just see a set of forearms and an AK-47 going through the grass. <laughs> is this what Nam was like? <laughs> oh, man, he beat me to it. It's the Ho Chi Minh Trail color eyes. I invented trail. <laughs> Degenerates <laughs> like you belong on a cross. <laughs> the Fallout reference, I love it. Are you mom and dad? Welcome back to Tab G, and now that we're done honoring the incredible heroes of World War II in the last video... Mother fucking goddamn piece of shit! <laughs> fuck, 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 fuck! Cheers, bro, I'll drink to that! It's time for some real combat, because if you thought Omaha Beach was bad, you've clearly never seen the horrors of the Unity game engine. They're beyond the comprehension of mortal man. Silent Lynch! Oh, yes! I got his ass! Oh my god, the tracksuit kill with a samurai sword carrying an op. Dude, what a way to go. Pure Slavic combat action. I don't wish to be horny. I do not wish to be horny anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I only wish to be happy. And to confess, once and for all, I don't actually hate Tab Sheet. I secretly love it for an endless number of reasons. I got a Mac. <laughs> and a Mac now, where's the cheese? Now, where is the cheese? Because if someone tries something once and calls it trash, I believe them. If they try it twice and call it trash, I'd be skeptical. But if someone has deep throated a hot dog three times, called them trash, yet is begging for a fourth, you know they're a lying piece of shit. So now that this is video number three, I admit Tab G is fantastic. <laughs> I love this. I, this is this is top 10 anime character arcs right here. On God, on Jaw, on Big Smoke, Tab G is worth the $5 price tag. Well, is he's it, in the smoke now. That's a big smoke. Oh, hey, yeah, isn't he dressed as Big Smoke from San Andreas? Is, is that he? why he's saying that's a big smoke? I feel like you, you might want to get murdered for oh, that. Oh, God, he is. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Jesus. And this one's going to be special. Not just because we played with the best player in the world, apparently even better than Poppy. This Pink guy right here is the best player in the game, by the way. Oh, really? Yeah, this is Jurassic 420. He's finished? Yeah, he's actually finished, like, unironically. <laughs> You're unironically finished, bro? Yeah. <laughs> I thought he meant, I thought they were saying he's finished. Like, is he just started? Nah, he finished. I, I don't know why we're speaking in, in like, badly translated English. Um, probably because he's finished, actually. That's hilarious. She's like the best player in this game. 3,000 hours. This is what you're looking at. Dropped out of high school because of Tab G. <laughs> that's true. I wish he were he were lying about that, but that's actually true. <laughs> now I go to the evangelical <laughs> board. <laughs> what a horrible punishment. Also, you would think the evangelicals wouldn't let their students anywhere near a computer since obviously there's a lot of satanic influence right there some clown is gonna tell you about the vietnam war how to ambush someone in fact i, I shouldn't be allowed to, to talk to anyone but because of an extra special sponsor dollar shave club by dollar hey, hey. Hey. i know you guys love to poke fun at the hair situation above my rapidly expanding forehead saying that i'm slowly turning into vegeta Maybe uh, you know. <laughs> but the hair situation below
Okay. One, shout out to Badger for being married, I guess. Um, and uh, I don't know. It's Dollar Shave Club uh, code code word Badger. Listen, this they're not paying him anymore, man. He 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 collected his money, and it must be a boatload. Because I mean, I see what 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 ad sponsors pay ish, and boy howdy, he's doing fine. <laughs> And you know what? Ball spray is the least weird part of this video. So if you have any brain cells, you don't feel like losing, I'd crank some 90s the hell out of here right now. Come out this. What the? How does he stick to walls like that? Spider Man, low key. Now that Spider Man mechanic. What the fuck? I'm scared. Am I looking at it? <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? You just keep going? I just, just, I just want to know. I just want to know. He's doing oh, 90. I just want to know. What is doing a 90? I, 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 I know the 90s. Uh, doing 90 like in a. In a 45? Now that man did not jump once. <laughs> that man slithered up that wall. The Drip Squad you're accustomed to showed up. Poppy, Bear, Jurassic that you just met, and even a voice actor from the game, Saul Teague. I never thought I'd talk to an actual Tabji character, but Unity is stranger than fiction. Hello. Sorry, Saul Teague. I don't know why I'm saying oh, Saltine. I'm now. calling you a damn cracker. <laughs> Guys, if you know, you know that MREs, all military rations, in fact, depend on crackers. They're basically pre-staled bread. And it's fascinating because when I was in the military, there was the MRE cracker challenge where you had to eat two, two crackers in one minute. Or maybe it was two crackers, two minutes. The point is, it was impossible. They were too dry. There was just no way around it. Uh, you couldn't pull it off. I suspect, it, well, they wouldn't let you use water, but I suspect if you had water, you could do it. But what's even more fascinating is that if you look at Russian military rations, they are all cracker, right? Crackers, and then it's just dips for the crackers. There's crackers and pâtés, crackers and uh, purees, crackers and cheese, even crackers and things like kasha and meatball. The crackers are just the basis for everything. There's even sometimes cracker and like a chocolate spread. I mean, it's all pretty good. I'm not going to complain. I've had them, but uh, it's a lot of cracker action. And, you know, crackers are kind of brittle. They break. They're not They're not the perfect ration food, but they're pretty close. <laughs> hey, Salty, can you say... Hello. Hello. <laughs> I'm playing with the Tab G asset right now. This is so fucking confusing. Chad, just Hello. the way that Poppy's face looks <laughs> looking at me out of the corner of my eye is so okay, fucking hilarious yet ominous at the same time. This is they so were weird. Indispensable. This is like, okay, this is like new parents who are like, my baby's the best. The baby is like a week old and they're just like, you're just like, yeah. They're like, look at that face. Yeah, I think he looks like a, like a slug. Because he's a week old. Facilitating our drip or drown contest, which I can only describe as the most frightening social experience known to man. All right, my turn. Which is funny because he's surrounded by Squid Game looking characters, so I would say Squid Game is probably a more frightening social experience. Turn. Let's see if I'm <laughs> or I'm drowning. All right, be honest, boys. Drip or drown. This is the most intimidating circle I have ever been in. This we got oh, oh, shit. We got I'm getting a lot of drown. <laughs> Fire! <laughs> okay, just do it. Just get it. <laughs> Somebody blew me out of there. The intricacies and nuances of Drip or Drown in Tab G are so complex, not even PhDs can figure them out. Just think of it tenant style with everything being inverted. Like wearing a chicken suit in real life? Drip. Wearing a chicken suit in Tab G? Drown. Take that chicken little motherfucker out. I knew we should have killed this fucking chicken years ago! Where is he? Not the chicken. Kids, no. He's in the got it. Check my Instagram. That's where I document all my chicken adventures. By chicken adventures, I mean sometimes they knock on the door asking to be let in, and it's pretty funny. I just hear Bussy get that chicken little motherfucker. <laughs> I see Jacket's head pop up. <laughs> no drip. Dry as fuck. Run away, you no drip having ass. <laughs>
<laughs> and I love you guys because for some reason when large swaths of you idiots gather together dude I wish I had that sort of setup right just monitors on monitors on monitors just like bathed in purple light like some sort of 90s hacker or it becomes the most hilarious place on planet earth and I can feel myself getting richer and richer. okay actually I, I though I hate uh I hate RGB keyboards, I, like a lot. Richer, every time I hit my shadow play button. Even when some of you are halfway across the world in Europe and don't speak English. I don't speak German neither. I'm here for money. Money. But even with enough cash to buy the greatest graphics card on the market, booting up Tab G strapped with an RTX 3090, it was still no match for the sheer number of them. I'm so glad that I got my hands on an RTX 3090 so I could play fucking Tab G more. Yeah, really? I can't. I can't. Oh. That's how I feel sometimes having bought my new gaming PC. Uh, check out Artisan Builds. Uh, link is in the description. Uh, no, that's how I feel playing on, I, I, I too, I think I have like a 3080, uh, playing Team Fortress 2, which is a game designed to run, uh, well, let's see, on, uh, like, integrated graphics cards from 2012. Oh, I'm already, <laughs> I'm being punched by pickles. But the sandwich looks real, it's like you can eat it, it's just like... So many people. Okay, if you can lag my fucking RTX 3090 down to 45 frames, you know there's a problem. It's so good when you murder somebody and then your frames become buttery smooth immediately afterwards. I love murdering pickles. Fuck you. All right, I got Asher Zombie. And of all the places to have dozens of you follow me on this dumbass. <laughs> okay, this map is brilliant. You've got Western with just a with just a poorly drawn hat. Then you have Area 64, which they really missed calling it Area 69. Crappy castle. Okay, this seems like just like the dev notes. Round work, just says industry, containers, actual castle, teabag tea town, chaos. One's just labeled chaos. Like, is this 40k? This is probably just 40k this dumbass map like castle crappy castle snow castle actual castle i couldn't find one dumber than fucking circle town which is basically a two-scale recreation of ohio with complete horseshit loot what's the best drop there's a lot of answers to that question industry is usually the best drop in the industry game. is usually the best if you say circle town i'm gonna fucking murder you <laughs> no, no never go circle town actually looks sort of spooky like it's some sort of circle runes where like the ancient peoples of 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 um Pug Tub G down, Tub Tub G town, uh, would gather to summon the most horrific creatures on earth, which are now your avatars. Oh, <laughs> Just look at it. It looks like such a piece of shit. We're actually going circle town, aren't we? Yes. And hell yeah. The other There's so many people. Oh, my fucking frames. Give me your grenade, you dick. God, he's out of here. Oh my I, god. I can't even this is way you. too many fucking players. It was so bad. It looked like a pre-game lobby, but it was a live game, and loot didn't even fucking matter because even if I found a powerful weapon, the sheer number of you were on and gaggle punching me simultaneously meant death was unavoidable. Circle Town, Volume Two. <laughs> Okay, I actually had that happen in Tarkov. A bunch of people spawned around me with hatchets, and then when I tried to shoot one of them, they hacked me to death. No, 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 no. <laughs> like, I killed, like, one or two, but then I ran out of bullets. Okay, okay, well, okay, that's diversion. Okay, wait. Circle Town. Circle Town again. All right, everybody drop Circle Town again. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure this is all yeah, already I'm looted. Dead. What am I even we, doing? I'm, I'm so dead. fucking dead. I'm dead. I'm getting fucking <laughs> trampled. I just got, like, gaggle punched by eight <laughs> different people. <laughs> Let's just start killing people at, at random. I don't even care anymore. <laughs> Any I over. There is no team. There is no I in team. Obviously. Is it like leaving their home? Things really started to crack once Bear showed us what he could do with a car and a Yarl Axe, which I still don't understand. It's kind of like breaking the laws of physics, but it's Unity physics, which probably means we should be put in Unity jail. However. However. <laughs> oh god. Oh my god. Shockwave? What's the shockwave? I don't understand the physics behind this. Oh, what? Here, let me heal you a little bit. Oh! <laughs> what? I mean, uh, this is great. This is like, I feel like there's some sort of physics engine dev who just add all these goofy things just to see if he could like get the concept down. And then it was like, man, what do I do with all this janky code to be like, like I wanted to figure out how to make the, uh, you know, super weapon explode. So I just programmed a car to blow up in certain conditions. Um, 
what do I do with this code? And somebody, and these guys were like, we'll buy, we'll take that off your hands and insert it into our game. Someone else was like, yeah, for, for my, someone dared me to make a gun that shoots chickens. Tab G is just like, yes, yes, we'll buy that. Oh, he did the shockwave while in the car and it just went through my face. Yeah, we rough samples. I don't know how. Oh my god! <laughs> what is this? Alright, so he's getting a lot of speed and then he finds a, he finds a lip, I think, and then he just... <laughs> Saltigue had his the own physics. pointers about the gulag, which I finally passed the third and final level of, but apparently that's a bad technique. What's your average gulag? I just do level two and then I kill myself to get back faster. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need your stupid blessing. Oh, uh, uh, I'm so this fucking close. No, I made level three. That's nuts. And after we turned Martin, Damn. aka Mozzie's voice actor, into a pickle. Oh, pickle Rick. Yeah, pickle. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> fuck, fuck yeah, pickle Rick. Yeah, yeah. People talk about him all the time. They can't shut up about Yo, him. Yo, they turned Mozzie into a pickle. <laughs> <laughs> this is bananas. That you were. This is actually peak Badger content to recruit the voice actors of iconic characters to join him on stream is i mean truly this is why he's the best in the world this is great content saw it <laughs> what funniest shit i've ever seen we decided to run a racket by sticking a healing barrel on a stolen luger which heals people when you shoot them it's a healing barrel that's why full health look at that then going up to random players shooting them with a browning automatic rifle and forcing them to pay us in guns and ammunition to heal the wound and if they refuse to pay we shoot them in the face with a musket um, Pretty sure this is exactly how the U.S. healthcare system works. Yeah, that's that's uh, pretty much it. Yeah, 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 yeah. You you have someone who's sick, you hold them hostage, and then you just charge them infinity dollars until they file for bankruptcy. Which, if you want to scam them right back, uh, just remember when you file for bankruptcy, in most cases, your personal house, the residence in which you live, and your retirement accounts cannot be touched. What does that mean? That means, uh, that is my theory, actually, is that's why rich people buy ginormous houses. You're like, does, you know, Steph Curry need a $50 million mansion? The answer is yes, because if Steph Curry ever goes broke, then he has $50 million that his creditors cannot touch. <laughs> it's just a theory. I don't actually know enough about tax law to, like, confirm that's true. But it's just, I can't explain it any other way. Who else needs that much space? <laughs> <laughs> can't pay? <laughs> Speaking of muskets, I'm convinced that the older the weapon is, the better it is in this game. Like using an M16 or a Chris Vector, shitty round. Using a fucking flintlock or a Model 1887, monster round. Is this what a nuclear weapon feels like? Oh, what the? <laughs> quick, quick facts. Quick facts. And I just go. <laughs> I hit that man with the force of a thousand suns. Give this pickle what he wants. Execute what me the war, fuck is crime war crime style. style. Well, I assume it's not like animal style if you're looking for French fries. <laughs> Got one. Get back here. I want to hit you with the musket. Uh, war crime style, I think, refers probably to executing an unarmed prisoner, right? So if somebody's like, execute me war crime style, it's going to be like, I don't have a weapon. I'm like kneeling in front of you. Like I pose no threat. I'm a surrendered or surrendering enemy. So what's funny is as long as you kill them after they say I surrender, then it's technically war crime style. Though I assume he means he's on his knees getting shot in the back of the head. Um, in contrast, if they're armed, um, I you can, you can shoot them and basically any situation you can even shoot them in the back the retreating enemy still armed is an enemy it's only if they're trying to surrender that it is is a war crime gotcha bitch oh he hit his neck on the way down oh i got him that's the oh wow guy oh there just comes a point where at 26 frames Holy chat fuck. you can't expect me to hit shit the hello big beam Oh, just rocked his shit. I don't want to loot that because there's so many fucking people here. <laughs> and that catchphrase you just heard is not only the best one that I've heard recently, oh, wow. but a perfect description for me laughing this hard at a literal sandwich joke. Someone just lock me up and throw away the key already. I'm hey, sandwich jokes great. If you haven't joined me on Twitch for twitch.tv slash combat at Paul, 
I do Team Fortress Tuesdays, where I stream some TF2. And I also stream other games and stuff on other days. But TF2 is the only pun-related game stream day. And when I do it, technically, I am the number one Team Fortress 2 streamer in the world. Definitely going to Unity Hell for this. Bag. So if you want to be a part of the number one Team Fortress 2 stream in the world, you can just come on down on Tuesday afternoons. Wow. LGBT. Or if you want to be the 400 millionth like Tarkov streamer or the 7 billionth uh, top just chatting streamer, then you can just come on the other days. Oh god. Who is that a sandwich? Oh <laughs> the chat see who I was just killed by. I'm not sure I want to... <laughs> I'm actually gonna fucking die, dude. I'm just so damn unexpected. <laughs> it actually fucking hurts. That who hurts. killed him? This? Wait, I got. I, who killed him? I didn't see. Jesus, he really did laugh for a long time. So damn unexpected. Backing it up. He's actually gonna. Come on, man. Come on. Come on, guys. Come on. Killed by... Oh, did I just chat? Oh, my God. This is this is like an entire bit. He just did this just to extend. L LGBTQ, that a sandwich. Is that LGBTQ? Is that a sandwich? Okay. Okay. Nice. Nice. All right. Uh, I think this is just the part where Badger talks to us about shit i'm gonna kindly yet firmly bully them into adding bruh into the game like i just need the all right well we here's the thing spoiler alert we know he pulled it off he got sponsored and had them add swouse his own custom voice thing uh anyway guys thanks so much for joining me for this uh super weird breakdown of a uh, classic russian badger um, because it's tab G, of course, nothing, not one moment of that could be related in any way to military or tactics. Nonetheless, I enjoyed it. I hope you guys did. Uh, oh, 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 wait, wait, how could I forget? I'm not shouting out our patrons. That's right. If you guys want access to exclusive content, uh, and exclusive rooms on the Discord, you want to join the Patreon. Thanks to our Lieutenant Tier Patreons, patrons, Cole Foster, Command Unit, Caffeinated, Jakob Flavius, Chris, Dr. Shadow Cop, Portal World, and Time Itself. The Herb. Alright guys, I'll see you guys later.